Alice. We have someone we want you to meet. Oh! She's come to look after you. Right. Dennis, this is Nanny Moonbeam. It's just that... Uh... Can't hear you up there, Mr Daddy. Now, tell me again. We saw your programme on television and... Uh... Well, Dennis can be very naughty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, we don't say naughty, Mrs Mummy. It's just that he's unable to let his natural goodness shine through. See? Well, we think he needs more discipline. Oh, dear me, no. He just needs to put all his negativity in a tiny bottle of say sorry and let his love grow. Are you sure? We've tried... Now, if you're going to start a new life, you'll need a new name. What shall we call you? Captain Space Tiger! Um, uh, Dr Maximilian von Strudelheim? I think Little Denny Rainbow. <laughs> and you'll be Fluffy Flower Pop. <laughs> That's right, Curly. No punishments allowed. It's brilliant. I thought she might be tricky, but it's gonna be a pushover. <laughs> oh, oh, no, Denny Rainbow. You've just run over the kitchen floor. Was that kind? Kind of what? The kitchen floor doesn't like little people who think they're clever. Would you like to say sorry to the kitchen floor? Oh, yeah, <laughs> sure. And make Mr Floor happy. Would you like to give him a nice clean? I don't think so. Well, Mr Squidgy Widgey would. And I think he wants to start cleaning right away. Oh! Now, you must be hungry after all your work. What's your favourite food, Denny Rainbow? Um, pizza? Uh, hamburger? Uh, chicken wings? <gasps> Chocolate fudge cake? And what don't you like? Oh, I hate Brussels sprouts when they're all grey and... Then let's turn all that hate into love and respect, shall we? I've been boiling these for three hours and I'm sure you'll love them just as much as they love you. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, look, he's smiling. <laughs> Fluffy Flower Pop wants his sprouty waltz too. Yes, yes. <laughs> Oh, I'm not doing any more of this! Rule number 52. We don't stop till the job is done, do we? And what happens when we break the rule? We discuss it in the Talk It Through teepee. And the Contemplation Kennel. <laughs> And we're also going to discuss making it up to Mr. Tree for climbing him this morning and breaking Rule 14. Denny Rainbow! Now, do you know any whale music? Uh, oh, good to go. See you later, Den. And now you'll want to welcome the frightened birds back to their homes, won't you? I made a din, my feathered friends. I had my selfish fun. I'll plant a flower for you because I broke rule 61. And what do we do then? <laughs> She's driving me crazy, Curly. Every time I do anything, she comes in and... What time, Denny Rainbow? And I'll see you at 5 a.m. for an extra plant a flower and sing how lucky we are session. That's it. We're leaving home. <laughs> OK, Nasha, get on board. <laughs> Life just can't get any worse. It can. 
Walter. What are you doing, Dennis? Tell him, Denny. Denny Rainbow, I'm enjoying the warm sunshine and pretty flowers. Huh. So, they're finally teaching you hooligans to behave. I'm Walter. I must congratulate you on having such a wonderful effect on Dennis. What a very charming boy. You should be more like him, Denny. Exactly. If you were like me, Dennis, you wouldn't always be getting into trouble, would he? <laughs> I am like Walter now, and I always will be, unless I can get rid of this woman. Hang on. What if Walter was like me, the real me? Then... <gasps> That's it, Nasha. It's simple. We have to make Walter more like me. You got to take a note to curl him pie face. Yes. Uh, what's all this then, Den? It's me plan to get rid of her. Listen, I don't have long. She's let me out on a trust exercise to buy probionic yogurt. These are for you. What? Scare her off? You wouldn't need glasses, pie face. You know. If he had a bow tie... There's a set for you too, Curly. He'd look like... Walter? <laughs> You're right! You see, I'm going to be good and Walter, that's you two, is going to be a menace. Then we'll see who needs Nanny Moonbeam. Right to Walter's, Jen. Because I want him everywhere. Uh, look at me! I'm Rainy! Can't be. Hi, Sergeant Slipper. It's me again. I'm so naughty. <laughs> and so artistic. <laughs> Walter? Everyone at work saw him. He climbed up the statue of Mr Scrimp and painted his nose blue. I can't believe it. Apparently he was seen in the high street too, releasing a load of penguins into a fish shop. Well, it doesn't sound like Walter. It was him, all right. He had a bow tie and he was carrying a violin. It's more the kind of thing Dennis would do. Den, Den! Except that he's here all the time. Poor Walter. It must be the strain of having all those brains. Nanny Moonbeam? Yes, Denny Rainbow? I have a confession. Nasha and I almost ran across the grass yesterday. We stopped ourselves, of course. Well done, little Denny. But I think I might need another session in the Talk It Through teepee. I think you're a very good boy. That's what we're hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> yes, today's the big one. Got the street map? The shovels? Shovels, check. Wheelbarrows, check. It's OK, Den. We'll get you out. And you know where you're headed. Go for it, then. She's certainly doing a marvellous job. Oh, yes. Today she made me clean out all the kitchen cupboards because I spilt some sugar on the worktop. Quite right. Yes, I accidentally mowed one of her flowers and she made me write a letter of condolence to its mummy and daddy. She's a wonderful person. Absolutely. But she's driving me mad! If I have to sit once more in that circle of truth... But how do we get rid of her? Hello? Yes, yes it is. It's Walter's dad. Really? Quick drying cement? In the mayor's car? Poor Walter. He has gone off the rails, hasn't he? We do, actually. She's called Nanny Moonbeam. Recommend her? Oh, absolutely! Well, uh, we don't need her anymore. Uh, fine. Yes, I'll tell her right away. Oh, thank goodness. I don't think I could have taken much more. Me neither. Still, she's gone now. Everything's back to normal. But just because Nanny Moonbeam's gone doesn't mean you can misbehave, OK? Course not, Dad. <laughs> Result! <laughs> I think young Walter and I are going to need an emergency session in the Talk It Through teepee. <laughs> oh! Well, Dennis, I think you got off quite lightly, considering. Let me see now. 
While setting the world speed record for three boys and a dog on one skateboard, you managed to terrify Walter and mess up his sweater. <laughs> flatten Parky Bowls' prize roses and turn yourselves into human pin cushions. Sorry, Mum. Well, I've calmed Parky and Walter down and I've offered to wash Walter's sweater, but be more careful in future, OK? Now run along, all of you. Thanks, Mum. And there's some chocolate chip cookies in the kitchen. <laughs> Your mum's so cool, Dennis. She's always standing up for you. Yeah, I bet you've got her something really great for Mother's Day, haven't you? Eh? Mother's Day? I made my mum a vase. Well, more of a pie dish, really. Curly, when is Mother's Day? Tomorrow, of course. Music. I'll write her a Mother's Day song. Let me see. Uh, yeah, Mum. Yeah, 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 Mum. You're so cool. Oh yeah. Uh, you really rule. Any ideas? Uh, na na na. Brilliant. Yeah, Mum. You're so cool. Oh yeah. You really rule. Na, na, na. For goodness' sake, Dennis, you'll wake me up. It at once. So she doesn't like music after all. Back to the drawing board. <gasps> the drawing board? Yeah! Curly, weren't you top of the class in Mrs. Creature's last art test? Well, yes, but. Uh... Hurry it up, Curly! I'm getting a crick in my neck. Won't be much longer, then. You can't hurry art, you know. <laughs> What's that? Get out! Oh, uh. oh. 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 I quite like it. That's because it doesn't look like me. It looks like a pie. It's not my fault. Even Leonardo da Vinci couldn't paint properly if he was being attacked by fleas. Don't give it to me, Mum. We'll have to think of something else. Everything we need for cheesecake or a pie face. Your mum will love it. OK, let's get going. Yeah. Uh, not there. Uh, uh. Oh. Wow! It looks really good, pie face. What now? We have to leave it to set. Put it on the shelves. Dennis! <laughs> ah, there you are. It's supper time, OK? Hmm, <laughs> pity. It would have been the best yet. <laughs> yoo Dennis! Oh, uh, hello, Gran. Hmm, what are you up to? Oh, uh, well... Uh, I was thinking about borrowing some flowers from the Colonel's garden. Forgot a gift for Mother's Day? Yeah. That's bad. Your dad always gets me something nice. So, when Dad was a boy, what would you have liked him to get you? <laughs> well, he was a bit of a menace too, you know. I'd have been happy if he'd just kept out of trouble. Of course! That's it! Gran, you're a genius! There. That'll do the trick. This'll be a Mother's Day Mum will never forget. Good dad. Good mum. There you go, Mum. Happy Mother's Day. Oh! What's this, then? <laughs> oh! Wow! See what he got me? Oh, he's such a good boy. Yes. 
Yes, he is. Happy Mother's Day, Mum! Tennis! How lovely! I didn't think you'd remember. Of course I did, Mum. And for your present, I'm going to stay out of trouble for a whole day! Well, that would be nice. Dennis, stay out of trouble? I'll believe it when I see it. We'll just stay in my room, OK? I can't get into any trouble there. you what, Nasha. We'll just practice a few skateboard tricks. about Dennis. <laughs> good, good. Tell you what, best of three. You're on. of getting into trouble there. <laughs> this is cool, Nasha. A total trouble-free zone. <laughs> oh, no! The window! <laughs> oh, only just... Hey, Dennis! We're going fishing in the park. Want to come? Yeah! Great idea! A nice, quiet afternoon's fishing in the park, Nasha. I mean, it's not like skateboarding, is it? What could possibly go wrong? Oh, hmm. Everything all right, dear? Still feeling relaxed? Mm, yes. Oh, almost too relaxed. Here goes! Hey! My hat! Hey! Must be caught on a root or something! So then he said, Pardon me, Al! Is that the cat that chewed your new shoes? Oh, <laughs> Mr. May, you're so witty! <laughs> Mum, how about you, dear? Have you enjoyed your day? Oh, yes. It's been so peaceful and quiet. Well, the day's nearly over, so you'd better brace yourself. Ah, Dennis. I'm guessing this is the end of Mother's Day, then? Yeah. Uh, sorry, Mum. Normal service has been resumed. Dennis. Yes. Now let's all just calm down. Bee's nappy cream, Dad's greasy hair oil, and Mum's silky face. 
ice cream. Time to test out my latest Go Fast Oil masher. For this, Dennis. Uh oh! Time for some amateur dramatics, Nashi. <laughs> Wait until I tell your father. Mmm, pizza would be great, Mum. What? What? What's Dennis been up to now, Sergeant Slipper? Well, he he he, he, he ran over my Woof. foot and. Uh... Nashi, you know Dad doesn't like you eating out of his hat. What are you talking about, Dennis? Hmm. You know, he might have had a bit of a bump on the head. You think? Uh, maybe you should, uh, well, you should take him to the hospital for a once-over. Yes. Well, I suppose I'd better. Looks like we buffed our way out of trouble again, Nasher. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, not you, Nasher. Pets aren't allowed in hospital. Nasha! So, what do you think's wrong with Dennis, Doctor? Hmm, his um, odd behaviour could be due to his fall. It had better be. Hmm. Oh, this place is no fun. I wish Nasha was here. <laughs> I could have sworn that... Let's get Dennis to the X-ray department. A quick scan should confirm what's going on up there. Hey, watch it! I'm not well, Mum. So, how is Dennis, Doctor? Hmm. Extraordinary. It appears your son has swallowed a dog. Nasha! <coughs> Come away, Nasha. The doctor says Dennis needs total rest. No, I just need to go home. Well, out of the question, I'm afraid. We need to keep Dennis overnight for observation. Overnight? But, but... That's fine, Doctor. Dad! You heard what the doctor said, Dennis. Come on, Nasha. Time to get you home. <laughs> now, the rules of my ward are no pets, no chocolate, no TV, no computer games and no... Fun! This place is worse than school. No complaining. You're here to get better, not to have fun. Hi, Dennis. What? Walter? Do you know Walter? Yeah. Unfortunately. Well, he's quite the star in our hospital radio. Yes, I'm their best volunteer DJ. Tune in to Walter's Radio Marathon tonight. It's going to be jazz-tastic. Ciao. Oh, why didn't I just fess up and take the punishment? It couldn't have been worse than being stuck in here with DJ Walter. Now, Dennis, if you need anything, just buzz this buzzer and I'll come running. You will? Cool. Yes? Could I have some water, please? Certainly. Could you pass me a comic? What about your water? Could you... Anything else you'd like me to do before I buzz off? No, thank you. I hate this hospital! Oh, hang on. 
Meatballs! Me favourite! There you are, Walter. Let you keep you topped up for your radio show tonight. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Shame there's only steamed cabbage left. <laughs> Catch you later, listeners. Nasha, good to see you. <laughs> Quick, hide. Can I go home now, Doc? No, I'm afraid you aren't going anywhere for 24 hours. But there's nothing wrong with... That is, I feel much better. Honest. Rest is what you need, and rest is what you will get. No, I need to go home. Mum and Dad will be missing me. Oh, it's so peaceful without Dennis under our feet. I've told your mother and father that you'll be under observation until we see a real improvement. Improvement? Him? <laughs> Sounds like you'll be in here a while, Dennis. <laughs> That's it! We're breaking out of here now! Hey, you! Stop! No dogs allowed! Oops! Time to go, Nasha! fit into that. You don't need to. It's a bed bath. A what? But, but, I had a bath last month. Wait! I... Whoa! Oh, that's... Freezing! No dogs allowed. Yes, though he is still very tired, he'll need much more rest. Oh, you could say that again. <laughs> Shame 
your parents can't afford one of these. What? And look like a complete muppet. <laughs> Let's test the rocket overdrive masher. I suppose you think that's funny, do you? Oh, oh, I, I, oh. oh no! But Dennis, what exactly have you done to deserve a new skateboard? Uh, there must be something. No, dear, there isn't. But I do have an idea. It's your school prize giving soon. Prize giving? Yes. Where Walter's parents always look down their noses at us because he wins everything. Now, if you want something for a change... You get me a new skateboard, right? I was going to say it would just be so lovely for us all. And you get me a new skateboard? Dennis, if you win a prize, I'll happily buy you this. The very best skateboard in the catalogue. Wow! But what could you get a prize for? You haven't done very much work, have you, Dennis? There must be one I can win. It won't be easy, Dennis. To be quite honest with you, if you can pull this off, I'll eat my hat. <laughs> Morning, Mrs Creature. How about a nice juicy apple to get your day off to a cracking start? All right, Dennis. What's your game? No game, miss. Here. I'll take that. Oi! I want to carry it for you. What? Please. Oh! I thought you might like some flowers from my garden. Oh, Dennis, I feel a little faint. Oh, let me help you to your chair. Good morning, Mrs. Creature. I brought you a flower. <laughs> oh, that's kind, dear. Uh, put it in there with the ones Dennis brought. Oh! Heavens, Dennis. If you keep this up, you'll be a contender for the Good Behaviour Prize. How else am I going to get this skateboard? Good behaviour's the only prize you don't need top grades for. But you'll never beat Walter at sucking up to Mrs Creature. <laughs> Ha! You never spoke a true word. I thought you might like two apples today, Mrs Creature. Or would you prefer a bowl of delicious fruit salad? Oh! Might one carry all the leaves for you, Mrs Creature? No need for that. My men will carry you and your bag straight to the classroom. Oh! <laughs> Dennis means business. We have to stop him. What are we going to do, Walter? Overwhelm him with superior firepower. Nobody beats me at sucking up. Morning, Mrs Creature. Thought you might like tea and toast today. Or maybe you prefer to choose from a selection of freshly baked pastries and ground continental coffee. Cappuccino or latte? It's prize giving today, but old creature still won't say who's ahead. Yes, yes, yes. Still, at least there'll be loads of food afterwards. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll try and bring you back some sausages. <laughs> so, may the best man win, eh? No doubt who that is, Walter. Face it, Dennis. 
It would take a miracle for you to beat me. Ah, oh, boys. I'd like you to meet our guest speaker, Sir Arthur Guff. Dennis and Walter are the front runners for the Good Behaviour Prize. Is that so? Well, he's the hooligan who knocked me over in the park the other day. Walter, is this true? It, it, it was an accident, miss. And then he ran away. You can't give him the best behaviour prize. He's a disgrace to the school. Well, it was neck and neck, but that settles it. Dennis, the prize is yours. What? Yes! <laughs> Come on, Walter. It's starting. I can't go in. It's too humiliating. Hang on. That's Dennis's dog. Excellent! If I'm not getting that prize, neither is Dennis! Ladies and gentlemen, Sir Arthur Guff, Beano Town's most distinguished manufacturer of plastic coated string. <coughs> If life has taught me one thing, it is that to succeed in life, you need a good piece of string. <coughs> now, many people will tell you that string has no personality. Eh? Nothing could be further from the truth. Dennis, hand that dog over this instant. What? No, miss, please. Oh, I might have known this was all too good to be true. Hand him over now, or there's no prize. So, I always tie a piece of string to my big special prize for outstanding individual achievement and it goes to Dennis we're so proud of you Dennis this is the happiest day of our lives and we're going straight from here to the shops to buy you that skateboard. Thanks, Dad. But weren't you going to eat your hat as well? <laughs> Have this one, dear. I'm tired of it. <sighs> Thanks very much, dear. Bit chewy. Oh, 
and he's good. Ah! Oh, I'll say, what a team! Oi, <laughs> Walter, look what you've done to our ball. Your ball? Look what you've done to our clothes. Yeah, well, whatever, Walter. Hm. How dare he? I'll whatever him. Hand me the bumper book of rules, Bertie. Ah, uh, uh, huh. As I thought. Uh, Mr. Bowles, there's an emergency at the football field. Oi! Uh, what's this all about? Oh, I was having my lunch. Dennis is blatantly breaking the rules about playing football in the park. You called me down here for that. But it clearly states that when playing soccer in Beano Town Park, Rule 67A, dogs may not play in goal. It's the rules. Rules? This is my park and I make the rules. But... Uh... That, that, this grass is for playing football. So if you're not playing, get off! Well said, Parky. Maybe your lot should play a bit more sport instead of poking your noses into other people's business. I don't know. Here, come round. Well, I never. Walter, play footy. <laughs> That's a laugh. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not like you know anything about football. <laughs> I know plenty, actually. I could play if I wanted. Yeah, right. Of course you could. <laughs> right. I will. In fact, my team will take on yours next Saturday, right here. OK, you're on. Right. And the rules are, uh, most runs wins. Goals is how it usually works, Walter. <laughs> uh, Walter, uh, we can't play football. I believe it's called soccer. And whatever it takes, we will win. First, we study the enemy. Oh, some save, Nasha! OK, boys, let's take a break. So, what do you reckon, then? Walter's team will be a pushover, won't it? Should be, Curly. But you know Walter. He's always got some sneaky scheme up his sleeve. Well, I may not know much about soccer, but even I can see that Nasha's good. What have you found out? Well, apparently, it is goals, not runs. And the chap who scores most of them is called a striker. So I suppose we need one of them. Anyone for one of Butch Butcher's veggie sausage bites? Don't worry, Dudley. I'll find us a striker. And you've just given me an idea how to solve the Nasher problem, too. <laughs> uh... What are we doing, Walter? I found our striker, the school new boy, David Peckham. Oh, hi, David. Ready for the trial? Uh -huh. oh, oh. That's good enough for us. See you next Saturday. Uh -huh. Right, we've strengthened our attack. Now to weaken their defence. <laughs> All right, boys. Practice makes perfect. When you're ready. What tricks Walter pulls, we can't lose! There you go, Walter. Five dozen super fat sausages, double cooked in fat. Thanks, Mr. Butcher. They look perfect. Uh, you've got enough there to feed a football team. Or at least a goalie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who, who did that? You were supposed to stop it! <laughs> That's right. Eat up, Nasha. <laughs> Almost caught, 
by Slipper, eh, Nasha? <laughs> I guess you're just getting old. <laughs> Don't worry, boy. I'll always love you, whatever happens. <laughs> Hi, Nasha. Ready for fun? <laughs> Something's not right here. Still a few more days to the match, and by that time, Nash will be the size of a rhino! <laughs> Face facts, then. He's definitely slowed down. And it's not long to our match with Walter. Curly, we could beat Walter and his mates with our feet tied together. Yeah, but like you said, he might have something sneaky up his sleeve. Don't worry. Nash has still got it, haven't you, boy? Come on, old pal. Do your stuff. Oh, Den, this is bad. Hey, Walter, ready to give up yet? Give up? <laughs> I don't think so. Mind if I have a go? Nasha, wake up! <laughs> Golly, is that a girl? <laughs> Pieface, you're right. This is bad. What is it, boy? Are you feeling ill? <laughs> hey, get off, Soppy. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> ah -ha! You've been nobbled. Don't worry, Nasha. It's not your fault. Everyone knows you're a sucker for sausages. You go ahead. You could do with some fresh air. I'll uh, <clears throat> catch up with you. Walter, just as I thought. One hundred and four per cent fat. Bon appetit, Nasha. <laughs> no, Nasha, you can't. Be strong! <laughs> that, my boy! Now, let's concentrate on getting you fit again. Nasha couldn't resist, but he's given them up and we've done some intensive training. Oh, so, he's back on form now. Hang on. That's the new kid, David Peckham. I told you Walter would do something sneaky. Ah, oh, Dennis, you've met our new striker, David Peckham. And how's your star goalkeeper? Fine, thanks. In fact, he's as fit as a butcher's sausage. Oh, uh, I mean dog. Oh, yes. Uh, of course. Well, why wouldn't he be? Huh. Still, I bet he's not fit enough for this. Uh. <laughs> Is that all your striker's got? You did it! <laughs> nice try, Walter. But nobody messes with our goalie. What? You knew? Of course I did. Nasha's my best friend. What's 
this. Sold out? The Rat Bucket concert? It can't be sold out. Not anymore. <laughs> It's sold out. You let them in? But it was sold out, then it wasn't. Now it is again. OK. Oh, but it took us weeks to get the money. Yeah, it's hard work washing all those cars. I'm having to dirty them up first. <laughs> come on, I've got a plan. We didn't want to come in anyway. Huh? I thought we did. <laughs> we have come to cook fuzzy rockstar. Oh, straight through on your left. Yeah, result. Oh, am I glad to see you. Right, I need all this food picked up for the after-show party. But I'll let you back in when the concert's over, OK? Oh, through there. Is that Rat Bucket's legendary 25-string guitar? Oh, can I see? Oh. <laughs> Out! And don't come back! OK, not a tunnel, but, uh... Hey, you know the way sheep get everywhere? Well, if we got ourselves some giant sheepskins... Parky's on to us. We need something he can't argue with. Like I say, a sheep. Hello, boys. Look what I've got. Oh, hi, Athena. Two VIP backstage passes. <laughs> it pays to be Rat Bucket's daughter. Well, if you got two, who's the other one for? Miss Miniwoof, of course. Because she's a special wiggle person who likes her own special wiggle part. <coughs> anyway, must fly. Can't miss a minute. <coughs> See you, boys. One backstage pass, three people and a dog. <gasps> yeah, that'll work. This is backstage. Maybe we'll meet Rat Bucket. Calling feet, calling feet. Turn left. Left pie face. Pie face! Leave the food alone! I've got to keep the strength up, Dan. You're really heavy. We're trying to get to a concert, remember? Oh, he looks like someone important. <coughs> Hi. Ah! I'm Athena, my dad's rat bucket. Oh, uh, uh, Hi, Athena. <laughs> ah! No, 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 darling. It's <coughs> not polite. <coughs> <coughs> My tummy rumbling. I need to eat. Uh, right. Have a sausage. <coughs> oh, gross! <coughs> Great. Now we're a tall bloke with a dog's head. Huh, very convincing. That. You made it. Whoa. Like the new hair. <coughs> Quick, Nasha. Take these. <gasps> Rat Bucket, our local celebrity. Can I have your autograph? Uh, my wife's a great fan. Um, uh, uh, yes, you can. Sure. I'll sign this piece of paper with my left hand. Oh, 
Thank you. Now I need to go to my dressing room to, uh, dress. Wow! This is the real thing. Just... Just a minute. <laughs> the crowd's been waiting quite a long time, that. I'd like some more food first. Oh, OK. Those pies are nice. You OK, Rat? Your voice sounds a bit... Something for your throat? Uh, no pies would be good. <laughs> oh, we haven't got time for pies, Pie Face. we got to get out of here. Daddy, hi. Hmm? I'm hungry. I need you to buy me some caviar. <laughs> That's not very polite. Just when Daddy's going to give us some money. Aren't you, Daddy? <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Athena's talking. Oh, Daddy, can we go Athena <laughs> have some money? Then, is it? But you always give me money. <laughs> <gasps> You're not my dad. You're an imposter. Security! Quick, now's our chance. <laughs> You're needed on stage, Rat. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, but I'm the real Rat Bucket. I was delayed, man. Get my daughter Athena. She'll tell you. Huh. She's the one who told us there was an imposter about. <laughs> Real rat bucket. <laughs> I spotted you a mile off, mate. <laughs> You're not tall enough for a start. The band haven't turned up. You're going to have to do a solo gig. Rat bucket! Rat bucket! Rat bucket! It's not gonna play! Not, not gonna, gonna play! play. Uh, what? what? Mr. Rat Bucket, sir, uh, uh, just caught the imposter. Uh, of course, he didn't have your star quality. That's him, is it? I'll give him a piece of my mind. How dare you! I'm sorry, Mr. Rat Bucket. It was stupid to pretend we were you. Consider yourself lucky I don't sue you. I'll tell you what, if you can get me in, you can be my personal guests for the gig. Oh, there you go, Mr Rat Bucket, sir. Ooh, he's even taller than I thought. And then they pelted us with fruit. Oh, I love it when they do that. <laughs> <gasps> Now, where's my band? They haven't turned up. Oh, man, they're always doing that. Hey, you don't know anyone who happens to play, do you? Uh, we play, but we're not very good. We know all your albums, uh, but we can't sing. Yeah, everyone thinks we're rubbish, but we're really loud. Hang on, not very good. Can't sing. Really loud. Sounds perfect. Hello, Beano Town! Please welcome Beano Town's loudest band, the Din Makers! 